In 1999, the Nipah virus spread in St. Billan State in Malaysia through the contact between humans and pigs. The disease claimed 108 lives, which was the most tragic epidemic in the history of Malaysia. 20 years later, local residents have recovered from this pain and have largely stopped the local hog farming business. Many of them have joined city volunteers in promoting recycling and vegetarian diets in the area. Here is our report. In 1999, Nipah virus spread in Sambilan state. Humans got infected when contacting pigs, and the epidemic took 108 lives within three months. It was the most deadly disease in the history of Malaysia. Yi Ming Hong's husband was infected by the virus and was paralyzed for 12 years. I thought that we must accept the reality and stop the pain because I need to take care of my children and husband. So I ask myself to stop thinking too much. Other than help from government and society, city volunteers also hosted emergency aid distribution at the time and went to hospitals to care for the affected families. We have mobilized more than 120 Zigi volunteers for the two distribution venues. Everyone put down their regular work to concentrate on the busy event here today. Most of our work is to care and comfort them, both materially and mental ways. To ease the epidemic, the government started to kill all the pigs and ban the hog industry. Pig farmers changed jobs. Lo Chao Lan and her husband began to plant dragon fruit and start a new life. Whether we raised pigs or shrimp, we were sustaining our lives with their lives. I thought it wasn't very appropriate. In the beginning, we care for them once every two weeks. A volunteer who was involved in a disaster relief left his family restaurant and opened a vegetarian restaurant. I felt that it would be bad karma if I'm still eating meat and the economy was bad. So I thought that maybe I should change to opening a vegetarian restaurant to make a living. In 2003, yeah. member of the Southern High Nipah Virus Disaster Relief Committee established the Ciji Recycling Point with the help of volunteers and local residents. My thought hasn't changed for the past 20 years. We don't have much time, so we must do the right thing. Yi Ming Hong has joined the volunteer team after her husband passed away. Now my children have grown up and my life is easier, so I use my free time to do recycling to give back. I feel very happy. After 20 years, affected residents have faced the pain with love and learned to cherish life because they have volunteers' constant companionship.